Do you like money? How about some gold? Or platinum? Well, money can be hard to farm in Terraria, especially if you don't know how. That's why I'm here to show you the best AFK money farm in the whole game to meet your spending needs. I'm Zuzucorn and I aim to entertain, encourage, and give casuals a place to call home. So subscribe now and join the casual family. Let's get right into the design and what you will need. Now I'm gonna put it out here right now. For this money farm, you're going to need two of the rarest items in the game. The slime staff and the lucky coin. Both of these have a really really low drop rate. But lucky for you, I've got videos on how to get them both. Easily and AFK. So check those out after this video, links are in the description below. To build this farm, what you need are mud blocks gathered from the jungle. The farm will be built in the ocean as well. I'll explain the design step by step, and show you the principles behind each step, so you can build your own variation if you have to. First of all, build a row of mud blocks like this along the surface of the ocean. You can go one block higher if you want to. For this farm, we want ocean monsters to get trapped in a place where we can freely farm them. So build two vertical walls like so. We want the enemies to be trapped in the middle there. Now let me illustrate to you the main concept. I've wired a shark statue to show you. Monsters in the water will target you when the game detects that you're submerged in water. Look, the moment I go in, the shark comes for me. This mechanic is important, because if we make a U-shape like this and fill it with water, when we stand inside, the game thinks that we are submerged, making the enemies come to us. This is a really interesting mechanic. So back to the farm, make a similar U-shape and fill it with water. Look, it's working great. The enemies are now coming for us. Now, the issue here is that they get stuck on the sides. We want them to funnel into the trap. To do this, all you need is a slanted surface. Make a zigzag pattern like this. Then use a hammer to hammer the sides to form a smooth triangle. Do the same for the left side as well. Now let's test it out. Great! Now when the enemies hit the sides, they will funnel into the trap. Now that we got them where we want, we can start putting the farm to work. The lucky coin is an accessory that causes enemies to drop coins when hit. This means that if we can find a way to hit the enemies many times, lots and lots of coins will spawn. This is where the slime staff comes in. The slime staff is one of the weakest summon weapons out there, but it hits enemies really really quickly. If you reforge your slime staff to broken, it will be doing mostly 1 damage to enemies. Add a few rows of platforms here so that the enemies are trapped even better and so the slime summon has a place to land on. Now equip the lucky coin and summon the baby slime. We are now getting coins while doing nothing. But how can we make this even better? Firstly, we can increase the spawn rate. Add a water candle into the setup to get more enemies to spawn. Next, you can complete the box of mud and plant jungle grass seeds. This changes the biome to the jungle biome after the grass is grown, which also boosts enemy spawn rate. In addition, this causes Arapimas to spawn which have lots of health, meaning more money for us. See, this is already a huge improvement, but we can do even better. Equip summoner armor if you can, buy the tiki set from the witch doctor after Plantera is defeated, along with the pygmy necklace. This allows you to summon more than one baby slime minion. If you right click a bewitching table, which is found in the dungeon, this gives you a buff which increases your maximum minions even more. Look at that amazing rate of gold. At this point, we're getting lots and lots of gold and platinum AFK. There's one more improvement you can make, however. If you notice, jellyfish and sharks spawn as well, which might not be ideal. If you want more Arapimas to spawn, cover the entire ocean floor with mud blocks and plant jungle seeds there as well. This allows mostly Arapimas to spawn, bringing your farm to its peak efficiency. Do adjust your farm accordingly though. I've reduced the size of the trap to accommodate the Arapimas so that they won't go left and right. If you want to, you can also place 300 ice blocks to the setup. This adds the ice biome to your farm, which gives you a chance to find the ice biome key 
and Amarox, which sell for a decent amount of gold. You can use a contaminator to colour the eyes purple or red as well, to add the corruption or crimson biome to the setup. Credits to YouTuber Happy Days for this amazing setup. This allows you to farm jungle keys, ice keys, and corrupt or crimson keys AFK as well, so that's really, really good. However, make sure you place your ice blocks a distance away from your mud blocks, so that your mud blocks won't get contaminated. Well, there you have it. In just 10 minutes of AFK, we've managed to get about 5 to 6 platinum, which means that you can get about 30 to 40 platinum for an hour of doing absolutely nothing. So this farm is easy to set up and is so efficient for generating money AFK. The only challenges are acquiring the lucky coin and the slime staff, but check out my other videos on them and you get those in no time. Well, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too for more Terraria guides and coverage. This has been Zuzucorn Games, by casuals, for casuals. Have a nice day and have a great week ahead! Bye-bye!